<laughs> Dude, you gotta watch this video. <laughs> uh, anyway, welcome guys <laughs> to Amigos React, and today we're getting a little strange. A little weird. With my strange addiction. This lady's hungry, but not for the normal stuff. She is eating what you guys use on a daily basis, if you're normal. Yeah. Mattresses. You sleep and not like a vampire. And don't eat your bed. <laughs> that would make it less comfortable, I it think. It looks like she's eating like the foam. Yeah, it's the foam. From this picture. That's the good part. But like, not all mattresses have that foam. Yeah, she's getting that memory foam. She's getting that good, good, she's dude. She's getting that good, good. That's that high price. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, let's check this out. My name is Jennifer, and I'm addicted to eating mattresses. Ugh, dude. I like my mattress plain and straight up. I dude, know. her house and life look so depressing. Oh, man. Who did the paint job? Look at the ceiling over there. Probably her. And then she got bored and started eating mattresses. <laughs> Top left corner. She was like, you know what? I want the ceiling pink, too. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> nah. She clearly did not tape off the corners. No. Nah. You know when girls put lipstick on, but they do way too much? They go over their lips, and it's all smeared. It's like a five-year-old girl puts their yeah. lipstick. That's what their, her room looks like. Also, look how big that fan is. Yeah, she got the industrial fan. <laughs> Holy you know, cow. eating mattresses warms you up, bro. I guess, man. Oh, like putting man. a sweater inside. <laughs> None of that. There's like a hard texture, like my taste buds are little, you know, kind of like, like a good song. Oh, um, do you when I found out your mouth closed, please, I was just dumbfounded. I was like, oh. I was so surprised that I was like, oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that oh. doesn't seem very surprised, dude. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Whoa, relax, dude. Chill out. <laughs> it's like, you seen that meme where it's like, Calm down, Jamal. Don't get the nine. Nah. <laughs> dude. I don't know what that means. The it's, nine? It's like the, gun. like the nine moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like, racist. It's not. It's a meme. Oh, memes can't be racist. That's no, true. Uh, That's true. Yeah. International. Every white boy knows that. Every white guy knows that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Dude, she's got a... That was a green fly. Jesus. Wait. 0.9 square meters of mattresses every day. She consumed more than eight mattresses since her addiction began three weeks ago. In three weeks, she's well, consumed eight mattresses? Yeah. I mean, I added the three weeks part. That's just my guesstimate. Yeah. It probably was a little longer. I was going to say, where do you see the three weeks part? Probably about eight weeks. Dude, I bet it was probably like... It's got to be a lot longer. And here's my logic, right? She's obviously consuming a high amount of calories. So she can't have that much room in her stomach to be putting foam. You'd honestly think that this would be almost making her lose weight because it's taking yeah, up space in dude, her stomach yeah it's like it's like eating salad and drinking a bunch of water to make yourself feel more satiated yeah dude she might have like a diet book <laughs> coming out pretty soon she, she was on 600 pound life and now she's walking around and how so, i lost 500 pounds without gastric bypass <laughs> eat a mattress yeah. every instead day. of making your stomach smaller you fill it up with things that don't actually have calories in them and then you can only eat like a little bit of beans Get some mattress. You put a little buffalo sauce on there. <laughs> Sugar free, like, of course. It's just like eating a freaking fluffy buffalo <laughs> sauce cake. That's basically a boneless chicken thing. Pretty much. You're boneless eating chicken, chicken nuggets. That's what they look like. Except for it's like a sponge. Dude, the texture of like oh, licking um anything that's like fuzzy. Yeah, fuzzy. Uh, it makes me like oh. oh gives, no me the, gives me the hubba jibbas. The hubba jibbas. No! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a fart? I make sure, like, when my mom's not gonna be in her room, or I could be in her room. So, like, reading your mom's she mattress? She shower, um, to She's eating your mom's room, mattress! To get it. Well, the reason why I'm not eating my own mattress <laughs> is because I ate my mattress. Dude, she looks like a drug addict that's like, like stealing your mom's pills. But she's taking mattress foam. <laughs> Her mom's like, Lord, my back been hurting. I'm going to take just uh, going in this pocket route, you know. Her mom's like so mad. She's like, man, my back be hurting today. I don't know. This match has been feeling differently. She's like, what's up with There's a big old, like, I, I don't know if it's because I've been sleeping wrong on it or something, but it feels like there's a big crater in my mattress. I don't know what's going on. Then after eight weeks, she's like, Jennifer. <laughs> this what? is the eighth mattress. I told you quit doing that shit in my house. <laughs> Where the hell is my mattress? 
<laughs> Why are these springs? There's just springs in a blanket. <laughs> Sorry, Rady. You burping? <laughs> I start off with the good stuff. The good stuff to me is the pillow top itself. Then I go down to Told you this part. The good stuff. I cut it. After that, I just start ripping it as I go. I get to a piece. Uh. I'm done with the mattress when it smells funny, or when if I get down to where it's just the springs. I told you, dude. I usually, when I crave to eat some mattress, it usually be after two o'clock. After I eat, I, I'm urged. I need to urge. I got. Oh, that's normal, dude. Everyone at two o'clock, they're like, I need a little nap, but she's like, I'll just eat the mattress instead of sleeping on it. At that time, everybody's craving something about a mattress, I guess. You remember the five hour energy commercials? They're like, You know what 2 30 in the afternoon feels like, right? Sleepy, groggy, dying for a nap. What do you do? I hunger for mattresses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the foam right out of my mattress. That's my two o'clock deal. Like, mm, you know what good, good with some uh, fried chicken and barbecue sauce for dessert? Little mattress. Little mattress on top. Little foam. I don't discriminate, but I do like sprinkle. the top part better. <laughs> I do like, that's the good stuff. That sponges to do. I was going to have to buy a freaking water bed to prevent her, <laughs> <laughs> prevent her from eating her damn mattress. It's like middle of the night. She bites into it. <laughs> like, God dang it, Jennifer. I told you get the foam, mama. <laughs> I told you get the foam. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry, mama. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. It's so easy. After sex. I would want some. After sex? <laughs> Dude, she's like on her back, like, reaching <laughs> in the mattress. She's like, oh, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's like, you want me to finish you off? She's like, I'm good. I'm, I'm good right here. <laughs> like, oh, I'll finish myself off right here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about me, baby. <laughs> I got a good slice of mattress right here. Why don't you put some of your special sauce on my mattress? <laughs> 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 What a freaking weird lady, dude. <laughs> dude, I love how she knows like when she wants it and like kind of <laughs> her little cravings and feelings. She's like, I know it sounds weird, but <laughs> after sex, I like me a little mattress. <laughs> little mattress munching, I like to I call make my it. boyfriend a sandwich. <laughs> and then I'll start eating his mattress. And then I sometimes I forget I accidentally slide a little mattress in his sandwich. <laughs> you don't like, like Jennifer, to. you put some mattress in my sandwich again. I told you, no pickles and no mattress, baby. <laughs> no pickles, no pickles, no mattress. <laughs> Specifically in that order. <laughs> mattress is better than pickles, but <laughs> I still don't like it though. <laughs> ah, that mattress that keep is happening. Gas is really the only one you have. Gas. It enters my body and leaves my body. It goes through my my system and goes out. <laughs> I'm very concerned about her. Oh, health. dude! Do you think? Boyfriend? No, that's her brother. Do you think she probably doesn't have to wipe? I bet. <laughs> 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 She's got the poo self, in the toilet paper. Self wiper. It came one, dude. She's got those one wipe Charlies like all the time. She's literally bro. got sponges coming out of her butt. Yeah, so. that's cleaning. Like, what do yeah. you use to clean things? And her colon must be like. Oh, dude, spotless. she's never getting cancer, dude. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> oh, man. health. And like her digestive system, because I have seen it. Oh, oh my oh, god, oh, that's oh, so Jesus. funny. It was all the sponges I was eating. I was like, it clogged up the toilet. Like, it's just sitting there. If I was that desperate to get it out, I could take it and wash it, do everything I did to it. Eat it again? I could use it again if I wanted, if I was that desperate. No. I mean, I ain't that no, desperate. no. You were sick. No, dude. You were sick. I just thought you were going to say she like throw it away or something. Oh, my God. Dude, this is not man versus wild. You don't have to drink your own piss. <laughs> Chill hey, out. Dude, oh you can go to God. Goodwill. They got mattresses pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah, calm down. Oh, my Good gosh. Like, you know how expensive mattresses is? Yeah, maybe stop eating them, dude. <laughs> what the heck? Could imagine if you're like, man, I love my favorite snack is popcorn. <laughs> and sometimes I run out of popcorn. But I poop out kernels, so I wash them off and I throw them back in the microwave. <laughs> And they taste better the second time. <laughs> wow. I was sitting in the back seat and it was like she was sponge five. down there. And I just picked it and took it and was like, just chew it on him. I've eaten couches, box springs. 
chair. Box spring? What does she eat out of the box spring? There's no like mats on that. Yeah, but he just ripped the freaking fabric off or something. Maybe like, the edges have a little bit of foam in them. I don't think there's any, like, it yeah. depends on the box spring, but mostly it's, yeah, it's just, just hard. wood and springs and like a cloth cover. I don't get this, dude. Because it doesn't taste like anything. It's definitely a texture thing for sure. She likes the texture. Yeah. It's the spongy. Eat cake. That texture gives me the like nails on chalkboard feeling. Oh, God. That's honestly kind of why I don't like cake is the texture. Really? I love cake, though. I love the taste of cake. I don't like texture of cake. Mm-mm. I'd rather have a cupcake than a, um, slice of cake because it's not as like spongy i gotta find a new guy to do this show with i'm a i'm a pie kind of guy i like pie's pie. good i love apple pie oh, i hate apple pie. pie i don't like those banana kind pie. i only like the uh, smooth ones like pumpkin okay do you like banana cream pie yeah it's good shit it's really good that goose shit dog dude she needs to switch to banana cream pie <laughs> dude for real but she probably well, she probably gain bad. a lot of weight though. yeah she's already pretty overweight so that might not yeah i think this idea. is probably helping her stay below 600 yeah, maybe. She could also get just like one of those the last tubes around her stomach years, or whatever. This is better. Just, Cheaper. This just been my <laughs> In the short term. I guess. Most people. It's embarrassing. I couldn't just come out and be like, yo, I eat mattresses. Can't do that. It's not even all my family knows. Dude, that might be a good uh, way to talk to people. Yo, I eat mattresses. The thing about this is like you could stop at any time. You really could. You, and if you don't have control over it, like you can get help about this. There's people oh, that's yeah. like there's therapists. She's going to have to go to rehab. Stuff. But dude, can you imagine if you were a heroin addict and you had to sleep on heroin every night? That's yeah, pretty she basically would need about it. She would need to do the same type of stuff that any overweight because it's like an eating addiction. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because she has an eating addiction. Yeah, but this is also on top of it. Exactly. So she has addiction issues. She totally get help for this. Yeah, I'm guessing they're gonna try to help her in the show. I sure hope they do, man. They're just like, ah, she, you good? I don't know how she's alive from doing this since she was five years old. They're like, you're good, but don't be doing the thing where you clean it off after the toilet and eat it. Everything else is cool. Ugh. Don't be eating them doo doos, dude. She's like, I could wash it off. I'm like, do you know the poop particles that would be embedded? Deep in that sponge. Oh yeah, you're not you're not getting it out. And honestly, if you do that, you're probably gonna get typhoid. It'll be bad. Yeah, Doctor Nick told you what you're gonna get. That's when you eat. I've done it. They named it after a girl. I think her name was Tiffany Typhoid. Mary Typhoid. She I think. used to scratch her butt all the time when she was cooking. <laughs> Liver damage. She got typhoid. Intestinal blockage. There you go. I fear that my sister could die from this. The yeah, absolutely. Sometimes it gets stuck. Like I looks like a honeycomb. And I she could switch to honeycomb. God forbid that something will happen to her. Dude, so much cereal is fluffy. Fault for that. Not the cereal, like actual bad. honeycomb. Oh, yeah. I was eating yeah, when I was a kid. Maybe the cereal. And I'm an adult. Yeah. I'm still eating it, and I'm still here. Jennifer eating my mattress is getting way out of hand. We don't know what this mattress okay. is doing to her. Me and my son just need to confront her today and ask her why is she doing it. It needs to stop. Yeah. Oh man. So when I you that chair's gonna break. Are you afraid of choking? Nah. That scared no. me for real. You were that's like shallow how. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Dude, the way that chair moved, I was like, oh, that's gonna snap. No, but you know shallow how when he hypnotizes him and he uh, sees people like how they are on the inside? Yeah. Well, she looks like a mattress. That's how she looks on the uh, inside. <laughs> <laughs> what if that was the movie? <laughs> it's like literally what's inside of you. Well, if, you <laughs> if you have a weird addiction, <laughs> like eating mattress, you're just a mattress. No! Like, nah! Is that why you be like, <sighs> all the time? Yeah, when I be like, <sighs> it shoot out of my throat like a cannon. I mean, I've been eating Gross. for 20 years. Ain't nothing Oh, happened. you're choking? I didn't know you had been doing it for 20 years. <laughs> wow. That's gross, dude. And you probably has good breath. You, you don't probably worry know. about the chemicals probably not that's from all that in the match. Reflex, no, dude. Match. That probably sucks. No, but just like the poop thing, it, like those sponges be cleaning up everything. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's gonna work with the breath, bro. If you're like regurgitating every five minutes, you're not gonna have good. No, but imagine, okay, because you know you brush your tongue, but if you're eating foam all the time, it's just scraping the stuff off your tongue all the time. And yeah. deep too, like deep in your tongue. Yeah, but actually getting rid of all the bacteria off your tongue will make you have stinkier. 
Oh, she got the worst breath then. <laughs> this is for the chemical. How do you know what mattress is made of? No. Right. But okay. I'm just, I'm <laughs> Are you defending it, you. dude? Come on. I'm just concerned, and I, I don't want anything to happen to you. So if we go see a doctor, right, and they tell you that it's bad for you, are you going to stop? And when I show addicted to something, it's hard to stop. I hope you try to not do it. Oh, yeah. She's a realist. Well, Please. good thing this isn't the freaking heroin, dude, because you'd be screwed. It's, it's not She'd be dead. Care, we, we obviously care about you. OK. How much of her belly do you think is that? I ain't, ain't for to throw a, have a mm. fight because you that's a, probably most of it. Like, she's probably actually her body fat percentage is actually pretty low, I bet. It's probably body foam percentage that's high. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that body we, foam. We didn't uh, put that into control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's probably soft, dude. I bet you lay on her, she's, dude. She's like SpongeBob, bro. Dude, she, <laughs> dude if, if I could cuddle with her and take a nap, you'd probably fall asleep. You'd have the best sleep of your life. But she, the downfall is she's really weak, like SpongeBob. Yeah, <laughs> she's like weak. two. Count them two. Marshmallow. She only has the strength to rip mattress stuff out and eat it. <laughs> yeah. Even then, she has a hard time. She's so. like passing out at the hospital. They're like, "When's the last time you ate?" She's like, "I've been eating for weeks." What are you eating? <laughs> Foam, oh, mattress, sponges. You know, the occasional kind of spring. Yeah, it's loaded with calories, you know, I'm good. <laughs> you found that I eat mattress. Oh, well. Yeah, I gotta go. Where are you going? She hungry. If it's not what she wants to hear, she's good that guy? It usually leaves. Oh, we no, can lead her and they could choose the right path. She had to do that herself. St. Louis, Missouri, home of the mattress eaters. I've been there. Did you eat a mattress? No, I learned how to drive seven tons. Oh, well, you missed out. Day to get checked out yes, so. because my mom and my brother <laughs> was very concerned about what the mattress is doing to me when I consume it. I hate going to the doctor. Since you've been eating mattress for 20 years, I hope he don't tell me that this has been slowly killing you. You Thank hope you. he doesn't say that? Of course he's going to say that. Why would he not say that? I hope he doesn't say that. <laughs> Dude, come on. Are you kidding me? It's like if you're like, yeah. Same with the heroin. You're like addicted to heroin. You go to the doctor. You're like, I hope he doesn't tell me I'm gonna need to like quit and it's gonna kill me. Yeah, I hope he doesn't tell me I'm addicted to this because that would really suck. If the doctor don't say it, it ain't true yet. Another thing I was gonna say is people from St. Louis, Missouri, the people that I mean, not not everybody. There were some freaking characters. Like I went to Waffle House one time. We'll never go there again. <laughs> At least in Missouri, because there is an overweight lady with like a full beard. Like, she, not beard. She had stubble. Yeah. But, like, she could grow a better beard. She me. shaved it. Yeah. It was insane. I've seen that before. Yeah. And they, like, smoke indoors still. That's dope. I, I think it's kind of cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Naked and afraid. So how often do you eat mattress foam? I consume it every day. And like one sitting. <laughs> really People's like facial reaction. And she like, has some in her pocket. She's just like, uh, hey, what? She's like, oh, you know, I got that thing on me, bro. Hey, what dog. the fuck? You know, I got that bag, dude. Come don't. on, man. She just whips it out of her pocket. Like, here like, we go. About this thick. So, okay. And then it'd be like, kind of big like that. Be really, the only symptoms that I think is connected to it. I mean, I may be a little gassy, but then again, like, I'm. Having sulfur burps. Sulfur burps. Okay. Yeah, like a fart in my mouth. Okay, I'm oh. very. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like a fart in my mouth. Yeah, that's not normal, bro. <laughs> I guess I was wrong about the breath thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told you, man. She probably got the nastiest breath ever. It's all the acidity and stuff. Oh, you know Her that. body's trying to break down foam. Dude, I don't mean to keep bringing up SpongeBob, but it's like when SpongeBob catches the ugly. I am very ugly, but you should enjoy the movie anyway. It, as soon as she would like told this, he's like, how often are you eating mattress? He was like, every day. This guy's like, I can't wait to tell my wife this stuff he's tonight. Like, oh my God. How are you still alive? What he's like, heck? why does Dr. Confidentiality exist? <laughs> how is this possible? Concerned about the foam. Mattress foam is not particularly digestible. Wow. Wow. Some of them. Like you didn't know that? Forming a partial 
blockages in your small intestine <laughs> so that food is not getting down effectively and it's fermenting and the gas is coming back up. Wow, I never knew that. So it's literally a fart coming out of her mouth. Her reaction to this is like kind of frustrating. Yeah, she's like, like, wow. I never knew that. I didn't know that. You didn't know that because you didn't want to know that. You didn't know mattress was inedible? Didn't you ever think to like maybe look this stuff up on the internet that's totally accessible? Oh, I'm sure she did. You have one of these in your freaking pocket, you know, like... Look I'm up, sure she dude. did. You didn't realize that mattress wasn't sold in the produce section? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I need to get some broccoli. I need some lettuce and a little bit of mattress. <laughs> Just like three ounces. Three ounces of mattress, please. You're at the deli. <laughs> I need a cut of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need uh, sliced mattress. about that thick. I need New York strips and I need some mattress. What if she got like real thin ones and put them on a sandwich? <laughs> Like deli meat. Need five pounds of mattress. <laughs> That's a lot of mattress. Sliced real thin. Real thin slices. I'm making and thin. no pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no pickles. My boyfriend hates them. Yeah. And a number of potentially deadly problems. How she's managed to do okay so far is is a surprise. Mattresses. Yeah. Yeah, you know the problem you face is you're going to have a hole in your intestine or a complete bowel obstruction and it's going to be an emergency and emergency means you could die you can change this it's been serious i'm going to change this <laughs> i am going to change this right after i have one more mattress sandwich all i'm saying is if anybody in my family starts getting addicted to eating mattresses and doesn't look up the dangers of it i'm smacking you if you anyone in my family swift kick in the pants, gets bro. addicted to eating mattresses I'm making some TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't I'm care less. I'm going <laughs> viral, bro. Dude, I don't I'm care going about so your health. <laughs> Do you know Google? <laughs> yeah, dude. Come on. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it's like, yeah, people don't eat not food for a reason. You don't eat drywall. You don't eat electrical cords. You don't eat your computer. And you don't eat your mattress. Eat normal food. What's yeah, wrong food. With that? They sell food that's pretty like, good. I know you, you're still eating normal food. Just get some spongy stuff. Make some brownies. Get it whatever consistency you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Throw as much um, bacon soda in there as you need to yeah, make, make it, it all like less fluffy. flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, less flavor. That's what makes it like fluffy, right? It's a baking soda. Uh, yeah, I think the egg to like flour ratio determines if it's like thick like a brownie or fluffy like a cake. What do you guys do? You know, leave in the comments if you're a baker. If you like the British Bake Off show. Yeah, we'll watch that next. <laughs> yeah, and they're going to make some mattresses. Oh, man. Dude, they could make those cakes. You know those realistic-looking cakes? Oh, yeah. They could make her, like, some mattress yeah, ones, dude. and she can pick at it and pretend like she's eating that. Like, oh, my gosh, this mattress is so tasty. I got, like, a protein cake. And it'll actually taste good because it's food. Not foam, dude. God. All right, what do you guys think about this? Leave all the crazy comments, whatever you want to put in there. And, um... Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, notification bell, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Dude, you gotta watch this video. <laughs> oh.